Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and this is a third video in my series on the Sage Barista Pro. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the Sage Barista Pro and the Sage Barista Express. The Barista Pro has been given to me on loan by Sage Appliances. I've gotta send that back because it's a demo machine. The Barista Express, however, I've bought this. I'll be giving it away to a Patreon supporter, also known as Accredited Coffee Wotherer. I'm just gonna do a couple of videos with the Barista Express and then it'll be given away. For more, see patreon.com forward slash coffeeblogkev. So here we have the original Sage or Breville Barista Express and the newer Barista Pro that I'm talking about at the moment for this current series. A quick note on the Sage and Breville thing if you're in the UK. I know I'm repeating myself here, but a fellow coffee botherer recently emailed me to say they'd bought a Breville Barista Max from Curry's a while ago thinking it was the same as a Sage Barista Express. So I just wanna make sure everyone is aware that if you're buying a machine in the UK called Breville, that's not the same as the Sage machines, which are known as Breville in other countries. The Breville brand was sold here in the 80s. It's owned by Newell Brands now, and they do produce coffee machines, but they're not the same as these. The Breville Barista Max might look like the Sage Barista Express, but it's not the same machine. It's a cheaper machine, not the Barista Express at a bargain price, unfortunately. So on your right is the Barista Express, and on your left is the newer Barista Pro. Visually, as you can see, they're very similar. The Pro has this mirrored chrome back, which I think looks very nice. The most obvious difference is that the Pro doesn't have the pressure gauge, which the Express does. In terms of the dimensions, very similar. Pretty much exactly the same height. The Barista Pro is about two centimeters, two and a half centimeters maybe, wider from grind adjustment to steam and hot water dial. And the Barista Pro is a couple of centimeters deeper as well both at the top and the drip tray. You may notice if you're observant that the hot water spout on the Pro is over here, so it's pointing directly to where the cup is gonna be sitting. On the Express, it's over here, which means a bit of moving the cup around if you need hot water for an Americano or Lungo. The Barista Pro features the newer Thermojet thermocoil system versus the original thermocoil. So it has the same three second warm up time and almost instant steam ready time as the Bambino Plus. The Express has the original thermocoil so it's not as quick in terms of warm up time and steam ready time. Although I should point out that because of the way the thermocoil works on the Express, the older thermocoil, there's ambient heat from the bigger thermocoil. It's a bigger unit than the Thermojet in the Express. So if you were to turn it back on again a few minutes later, it would probably be ready around about the same time as the Pro. But with the Pro, it'll always be ready in about three seconds because of the way the Thermojet thermocoil works. Now, let's test the steam ready time. One, two, go. Pro started. Express now started. So as you can see, quite a bit quicker with the Pro than the Express in terms of steam ready time as well as warm up time. And the steam tips are different too. It's a four hole steam tip on the Pro and a single hole steam tip on the Express. And this should mean that the Pro is faster at steaming. So let's see, I'm gonna steam 200 ml of milk on both and time it. One minute, 12 seconds, that's up. Something to point out that I've not said in the talky bits is that the Express is a little bit noisier. See what I mean? It's noisy. Seems to like talking, a bit like me. 
I'm going to start off with a cool jug again, to be fair. Much quicker, I can tell that. We're already at 30 for 25 seconds. Now we're at 40. Fifty. Sixty and forty seven seconds. So forty seven seconds to get to sixty degrees on the pro. And if you listen to that, the noise is stopped, that's it. So going from steam. Stopping the steam. That's it, the noise is finished. Do the same on the express. Turn off the steam. So it's still chattering away, like me. It just likes to make noise for longer. It's probably a bit louder in terms of decibels as well. But the main thing is it makes noise for a prolonged period of time versus the pro. You can see it's still chunnering away. Shush. Still going. Still going. It's not a huge issue at all, just something to point out that the pro with the newer Thermojet, you know, it pulls a shot, it steams the milk, and then it stops. Whereas the Express, it takes longer to cool down after, and that's what all that noise is all about. And as you can see, the Pro is quicker because of that four hole steam tip. As I mentioned earlier, the Pro doesn't have a pressure gauge. I don't know where this decision came from, but to be honest, I don't think the pressure gauge is required. The only feedback you really need is shot time. If it's too fast, you need to go finer. If it's too slow, you need to go more coarse. I really don't think the pressure gauge is needed, personally. And what the Pro does have, which the Express doesn't, which I think is very helpful, is a shot timer. The LCD screen gives you a shot timer. Not only that, but it even tells you when you're in the pre-infusion phase and the shot pulling phase. The grinder on the Pro has 30 settings versus 18 on the Smart Grinder Pro, which is one of the main reasons I'd recommend the Pro over the Express, if I'm honest. It's the same grinding range in terms of the finest and the most coarse settings, but there's almost double the number of settings, which means better fine tuning when dialing in the beam. Both come with a 54mm porter filter with single and double, that's one cup and two cup shot baskets, both standard baskets and pressurised baskets. One thing I have noticed is that the cup warmer is a lot warmer on the Barista Express once they've both been on for a bit. And this is no doubt because of the way that the newer Thermajet works. The original Thermacoil on the Barista Express is physically bigger and it takes longer to heat, which makes the ambient temperature of the machine warmer. The thermocoil will be giving off heat for a while once it's heated up. The newer Thermojet in the Pro is purely on demand. It's literally only switched on when you're pulling a shot or steaming milk. And it's smaller, it won't radiate the same kind of heat internally. So that's why you'll end up with quite a cool cup warmer on the Pro versus the fairly warm cup warmer on the Express. One of the biggest differences is the LCD display controls on the Pro versus the buttons on the Express. Doing things like entering the cleaning cycles and adjusting temperature settings is a series of simultaneous button presses on the Express, but it's a much more simple process on the Pro. Adjusting the grind is also a bit easier with the Pro. You can just see the grind size here on the screen with the Pro, rather than having to look at what the grind size is on the dial with the Express, which can be a bit of a challenge if you have the machine under kitchen cupboards in an area which isn't particularly well lit. Adjusting the grind time is the same on both machines, although with the Pro it gives you a countdown timer, which can be handy if, for example, you had it set at 16 seconds, let's say, but you found that your last shot, you got 22 grams from that, but you didn't change the time. So you can just stop it at 14 seconds and then weigh it with the Pro because you can see that timer. 
So there you go, a side-by-side -side comparison of the Sage or Breville Barista Pro and the Barista Express. In a nutshell, both are great machines, but the Pro has better ability to more finely adjust the grind and it has a more user-friendly LCD display and controls. It's quicker to heat up and it has a quicker steam ready time. It steams milk quicker and it has the shock timer, but it's missing the pressure gauge that is present on the Barista Express, which some people aren't happy with. But as I've said, personally, I don't think the pressure gauge is really that helpful. There's a link in the description below to both of these. And if you buy through that link, you're supporting this channel as I'll earn an affiliate commission on your purchase. Thank you very much. By the way, it's always worth dropping me an email if you're buying a Sage machine, if you're in the UK, as I sometimes have discount codes from Sage Appliances to give away. I can't publish them here or at Coffee Vlog, but if you email me, kev at coffeevlog.co.uk, if I do have an active discount code, I'll share it with you. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, click here to watch another one, and don't forget to click the like button. Cheers. And don't forget, if you want to become an official coffee botherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to our channel. Also, to become an accredited coffee botherer with all the benefits that come with that, just go to patreon.com forward slash coffee blog kev. Tatty bye.